Hi, how are you? Welcome to my yoga stretch fusion class. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Today's class is standing only, so we're not gonna get down on the floor. You can use a chair if you wish for balance or to sit along the edge of, and you're more than welcome to use the wall too for balance. Please make sure you exercise within your ability, and if you experience any difficulty, stop, seek a physician right away. All right, let's get started. Find a space, get that chair if you need one, and then meet me back here. And welcome back to Yoga Stretch Fusion standing class. So again, we're not gonna get on the floor, and you're welcome to use a chair if you'd like for balance or to sit on the edge of. We're gonna start off in mountain pose, so feet are hip width apart, toes are spread, and your heels are straight back, so your feet are parallel. And then you're nice and tall through your spine, palms open up as your shoulders roll back, and then eyes gently closed. We're gonna inhale through your nose, and exhale. Again, inhale through your nose, and exhale. Finding the center from the bottom of your feet. So we're gonna shift our weight forward and back. We're not actually taking our feet off the floor. We're just shifting our weight forward and back. And then make that movement smaller and smaller until you find your center. And the same thing for the inside and outside of your feet. So you're shifting your weight in and out. And then just make that sm smaller and smaller until you find that center. So your arches should be just gently lifted as your big toes gently pressed into the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Let your shoulders melt down. Bringing that center up through your legs, hips, spine, the top of your head. Inhale. Bring your hands together, center, and work your chest into namaste. Keeping your center. Opening your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, push away. Reverse, inhale up. Exhale, center. Again, inhale. Exhale, push away. Reverse, inhale, swan dive, exhale, hinging from your hips, bend your knees if you need to to protect your back, and then inhale, reverse swan dive, lift with your upper back. Again, exhale, inhale, reverse. One more time, exhale, inhale, reverse. Hands together, sway side to side. Lifting the rib cage up and over. Keeping your hips, hips center. Good. Now center yourself and release. Sitting down into chair pose. Your hands, fingers in, elbows are out. We're going to go into cat cow. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this better. Take a deep breath in. Exhale into a cat pose, tailbone under, chin is under, arch through the back, feel that through the spine. Then inhale into a cow stretch, keep your knees nice and bent, tailbone out, chin is out, and then sway back of a cow. We're going to go back and forth, exhale into cat, inhale into cow. Again, warming up through the spine. One breath. One movement. One more time through. And then roll yourself all the way up. Good. 
Bring your arms up and around. We're gonna hold that big beach ball. Fingers spread, elbows up and out. You're gonna bend at the knees and then tuck your chin. So if you're getting of that arched back with the cat. Straightening your legs as you start to curl down, still holding on to that big beach ball. Inhale, exhale. Feel that move down the spine and to the back side of the legs. Nod your head yes. Nod your head no. Again, yes. And no. Center. Curl yourself up. Vertebra by vertebra, pressing your spine to the sky. Bring those hands up and then paint the wall nice and easy with the knees, shoulders relaxed. Go to the back of your hands, coming up, shoulders, just a shoulder height, and then back. Nice and easy. Release. At this point, I'm going to turn to my right. You can still stay facing me. I'm going to turn so that you can see everything from the side. So I'm going to turn and go to the end of my mat. From this point, inhale up. Swan dive down, hinging with your hips. You can bend your knees if you need to. Monkey pose, back as flat as a table. You can have your hands on your shins if you'd like. Good, hands coming down into a forward bend. And then your right foot takes a big step back. Heel is the farthest point. Hands come to your thighs as you walk up. We're going into sun salute. So you're gonna drop your back knee as you lift in your chest to the sky. Now make sure your back heel is straight up and your toes, both sets of toes are straight forward. So if you're facing me, I should be seeing both sets of your toes and the tops of your feet. And then sinking through your tailbone, lifting your chest up, and then open yourself to the sky. Go into this as far as you can. A chair is a great one for balance if you need it. Make sure this front knee is straight forward with your toes. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale. We're holding this pose for a couple more breaths. One more, inhale, exhale. Bringing your hands to the floor, front knee is bent again. Just gonna bend that front knee just a little bit more. Pushing your back hip into the floor. You can always make a fist if you need to. Back heel is still straight up. Just dropping that back hip, feel that through the hip flexors. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Coming up, walk your back foot until it's next to your front foot. And then we're going to switch legs. Back heel straight up. Make sure your toes are straight forward too. Front knee is bent. And then hands to your thighs. And then we're dropping down into reverse warrior, not reverse warrior, stun salute, excuse me. Lifting the chest up, dropping the back knee. Again, make sure your back heel's off the floor and both sets of toes are straight forward. Inhale, open up further to the sun. Exhale, dropping that knee a little further. Inhale, exhale. Bring your front hand down and then you can make a fist if you need to also. But I want you to bend that front knee and then just drop the back hip. You can wiggle this foot back further if you want. Like, just make sure that this foot stays planted so this heel is on the floor. Dropping your back hip down. 
Feel that through the hip flexors more. Inhale. Exhale. Coming up, you're going to walk around. For me, it's to the front. For you, it would be the side, or you can readjust if you'd like. Both sets of toes I have pointed forward, and then hands right below my head, and then I'm just dropping down, bending my elbows, arms relaxed, lowering your head down. Inhale. Exhale. Straightening your arms back out again. You're going to bend one knee, straighten those. So you're lunging side to side. And with your feet being as wide as they are, not a very deep lunge yet. You can go deeper if you'd like, but we're still kind of warming up and your feet are out pretty wide. But then as you start to get warmed up, and you can even turn your toes a little bit out if you wish, you can go deeper into that lunge, side to side. Feel that through the inner thigh and the groin. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead, hold to your right. Inhale. And switch, lunge, feel the legs working, warming up even. Good, center. You can bring your feet in a little bit further if you need to. What you're going to do is you're going to sit down so both knees are bending. You're just sitting into kind of like a frog stance. And then you're going to straighten your legs and then drop your head, chin is tucked, feel that through the whole back side of the body. We're going to go back and forth. So you're going to sit down and then forward fold. So we're working our hips and our hamstrings. So we have the work and then we have the stretch. One more time. And then forward bend and hold. Lowering your head, chin is tucked, arms relaxed. Tailbone to the sky. You could even take your hands to the outer hips and pull up. And feel that go deeper into those hamstrings and hips. Keeping your legs nice and straight, just shift your hips side to side. It's a little movement. Again, the knees stay straight. They're not bending with this one. And you feel that move through the hips. Good. You want to feel this in the hamstrings also. You have multiple hamstring muscles. And as, as you shift side to side, you're going to feel that move from the inside and outside. Inhale. Exhale. Center. And then you're going to walk your feet in. But I want you to try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Move your feet in slowly as you need to. Work your way back to toes forward. You can hold for a second in a pose. Let your arms hang, chins tucked, feel that through the back side of the legs, through the spine. And then you can work your way a little further in again. And when you really start to feel that pull, that's where you kind of want to hang out for a second. Breathe, inhale, exhale. You need to have those deep breaths through the nose. Creep your way back in a little more. Legs are straight as you can. And then a little bit more with your feet, toes straight forward. And walk your hands to your right as you kind of turn to the side. Feel that stretch down the left side of the body. And then walk around to the other side. Keep your knees straight forward. Feel that down the right side. 
come back to center. And then curl yourself up a little bit at a time. So we come all the way up. Good. This would be a perfect time to readjust wardrobe. We're just going to go into mountain pose just for a second, just to kind of regain strength for your breathing. That could have been very challenging, so this would be a good time just to kind of let go. Inhale through your nose. And exhale. Inhale. Open your eyes. Exhale. You're going to center your feet just a little bit more. We're going to go into a few different versions of the chair pose. So inhale up, exhale sitting down. You can have your hands into namaste. Make sure your chest is straight forward. So I, if you have a logo, I should be able to see your logo. And then your knees are straight forward. And then all your weight is from the balls of your feet and then to the heels. So you should be able to wiggle your toes and the heels should be planted. You can have your arms extended if you wish. We're holding in this chair pose. A couple more breaths. Pull your abdominals in. Lots to think about and to breathe at the same time. There you go. One more breath. Inhale. Count your options. Exhale. Inhale, coming up. Chair pose again, sitting down. This time, right heel comes up off the floor. So all your weight is in the left leg, and this left leg is the one that's doing the work right now. And then we're gonna pulse through that. Little movements, we're not bouncing, we're just moving in and out of that pose just a little bit at a time. There you go. You got it. Four, three, two, hold. Now switch feet. Left heel comes up off the floor. And pulse it out. There you go. Keep your core in check. Back is straight. Out is tucked. Feel that leg firing up. Three, two, and lower the heel down. Inhale up. Exhale out. Okay, this one does require some more balance. You can always use your chair or a wall. But what you're going to do is you're going to center planting your left foot into the floor. Then your right foot is going to come off the floor and it's going to cross the ankle to your knee. Now if you're like, this is where I'm at, I'm good, go ahead. The next step is to sit back and this is my good side, so we'll see how. Shifting your hips back. So this does require a lot more balance. And this left leg is getting a lot of work right now. Still keep your chest forward. You're still sitting down. So this left, left knee is bending. I'm going to bend that knee. It's not all in the hips. Chair or wall for balance. Good. And just let the right knee drop down so you feel that stretch through here at the same time. And then see if you can go a little deeper. Inhale. Oh. Put my arms out for balance here. Exhale. Keep your chest open. Okay, we're gonna come on out. Shake it out. And then we're gonna switch sides. Again, use that chair or wall for balance. Spread your right toes out, plant and rooting yourself into the floor. And then you're gonna take your left knee. I'm a little tighter on this hip from course twisting the wrong way yesterday getting a little old doesn't take much so I'm just gonna go to as far as I can just like you you go into what works for you take it slow if you need to or it's just a small chair pose we're not going very far but again we're bending at this knee just say excuse me chest is facing forward the right leg is getting a lot of work while the left hip is getting a stretch. Make sure this knee comes down. You have your arms out for balance, you can massage. Oh, whatever works for you. There you go. Keeping 
go further. So luckily my hip had loosened up a little bit. I'm able to go into a little bit deeper now. But I was listening to my body. I was not forcing it. I was just going into it nice and easy, letting that stretch open and happen. Inhale. Clean up, shake it out. Good job. Okay, feet hip width apart. I'm gonna go out to the side with the arms, palms facing down. Let the elbows relax, and then you're gonna extend straight up. Relax and extend. So we're working through the shoulder joint. Nice and tall, but the shoulders are down. Inhale. Feel that through the arms also. Inhale. Exhale. Extend. Rotate through the shoulder joint. The hands will follow. Palms facing up. And then you're going to release. And I want you to really work through the opening. Our external, external rotators are the ones that tend to be the weak of the rotator muscles. So we want to work on and focus on the outward motion versus rotating in. Keep it going. Shoulders relax. Feel those arms and those shoulders. We want you to push through that as long as it's not a joint pain. If it's a muscle pain, that's okay. Feel that burn. Go ahead and hold, palm facing up. Now pulse back. So your thumb is straight back. I'm gonna turn so you can see it's just a small movement. Good. Feel that in the upper back shoulders and your upper back muscles. Now pulse up. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Come on, almost there. Three, two, and release. Woo! Shake it up. There you go. And now we're going to work just to the upper back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. So your palms are facing down. I want you to imagine you have two oars or paddles and you're pulling through the water. So you have resistance. You can also think about you got two big chains that you're pulling back to. Whatever works for you to think about how there's that resistance. So you don't always have to add weight. You can just Imagine that resistance, and then the brain will tell you to activate those muscles. Come back and hold. Now pulse it back. Feel the movement, shoulders still down. Keep those shoulders down, elbows straight out. Three, two, now rotate through the shoulder joint. Elbows are straight out to the side, so you have that 90 degree angle and then your four, uh, upper arms are straight out from perpendicular into that shoulder joint. Working the rotator cuffs again, external rotators. Here you go. Keep breathing. A few more. Three, two, and release. Whew, shake it up. Okay, right arm comes across. Start with the arm down, and then going right across the chest as you pull in, and it works through the fingers. There you go. Try not to turn the torso up. Lifting the arm up, pull it across, pulling in, 
and then rotate to your wrist. Make sure I don't cover my mic with my arm. Bring your right hand to your shoulder. You're going to take your left hand to your elbow. You're going to lift the elbow up and then back. Grab a hold of your elbow and lift up and over. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping your hips right where they're at so your hip bones are facing me the whole time. We're going to go up and over and then twist for that to the middle of the back the wings of your back, but make sure you're still hips forward. Open back up, center, and release. Left arm down first, and then pull in. Work through those fingers. Shoulders down. Shoulders and hips are square. Rotate your wrist. Oh, actually bring the arm up and across and then wrist. Feel that in the shoulder and the scapula. And then bring your left hand to your shoulder, lifting your elbow up and back. Feel that down the tricep and the shoulder joint. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up and over. Stretch down the side and then twist. Keep your hips facing me. Twist to the rib cage, looking down. Open back up. Lift and center, and then reaching up as high as you can. Good. Rounding out the back as you tuck your tailbone under, chin is tucked. And then straighten your legs as you start to drop down. Chin is still tucked. Hands below your head. And then just dropping down as far as you can. Keep your legs straight, chins tucked. Feel that the back side of the leg of your spine. Heels pushed into the floor. Tailbone to the head. Chin is tucked. Inhale. Just release, let the stretch happen. We tend to hold on tight, we want to let it go. Go ahead and curl yourself up, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Taking your right hand behind your back, you're going to grab hold of your left arm, so above the elbow and then you're going to pull across so that's the shoulder and then you're going to take your right ear and drop down as you feel that deeper into the neck and shoulder too so all down the left side drop your chin a little bit for that stretch and move through the neck knees are soft going to release the arm Switch sides, so left hand comes behind. You're grabbing hold of just above the elbow, if you can get there, and then pull. Or at least just grab what you can and then pull across. So you see how I'm pulling across the back side. And then right ear stays, or right shoulder stays down, left ear drops down. Feel that down the right side. Inhale, exhale. Keep pulling across to the left. Left ear down. And release, shake out. Okay, mountain pose. Feet hip width apart. You did it. Good. Hopefully you feel nice and loosened up now. Palms facing forward. Eyes gently closed. Just let everything go. Be proud of yourself for the time you took for yourself. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly 
open your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. And now. Thank you so much for joining my class. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like notifications for other classes, just click on that little picture of me and you'll get the videos for free. Thank you again so much for coming. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Come back again.